How's it going guys? Mike here. Today I wanted to do a first impression video on my new helmet. This is the Torque Model TB14. It's a very simple and basic helmet. If you just need something to get you by every day. Um, and it's got this really cool graphic American flag on it. So the side is an air vent here on this here. And there's another one right here. And at the top, there's one back here, uh, which you, you get these base, you know, as a standard thing on most helmet anyway. I love how with the Bluetooth uh, feature, you can't see any wiring inside. I've seen some helmets where, you know, the wires are exposed or you have to use them externally. Uh, but with this helmet, everything uh, is pretty cushioned in. Uh, one thing I do think is a little wacky is how you charge the Bluetooth. It's all the way in here. And you, you have to like take this padding off and you know the the socket is in there another downside i think for the helmet specifically for the bluetooth uh is the speakers they're not the best but you know for me i most of the time 99 percent of the time i use the bluetooth for navigation um, more recently i've been using it for music the way you're able to <laughs> to make sense of it is the audio is not so loud, so whenever you're riding, you need to pay attention to the road anyway. So for me, even when I turn on my music, I'm still able to hear the road noise and, and I'm still able to, to pay attention to, to my environment. Another cool thing, like I said about the wiring, as you can see, some helmets, uh, I mean, some Bluetooth helmet, you have the mic like sitting right here in here and it's exposed, whereas this, it's all tucked in. Another feature I think is much different is this, the visor. Uh, to open, this feels a lot more, um, structured, if that's the word I'm looking for. You get another extra sunlight shade here, as you can see. And I like how they put the tap for that on the side, not at the, not on my current helmet, it's somewhere right here, but on this, it's right here. So it's easier to reach. I've heard some mixed reviews about them how they're kind of distracting when you pull them down because they stop right here by your nose. Uh, sometimes you may be able to see beneath them. Uh, so I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna, once I start using the helmet, I can tell uh, what it feels like up here. This is my current helmet, which I still use until now. And don't mind, if you see all the scratches, I actually crashed my bike with this helmet and it's held on. Um, so it's it's the thing is if when you buy a helmet, you know obviously you want to read uh, good reviews and hear people other people's experience with them. But for me, torque has been tested for me because again I've been in an accident with it and it held up like it it saved my life. When I bought this, this this came up to about two two thirty or two twenty. Um, this current helmet and this this was one eighty nine plus tax. So it's very affordable. You don't have to go spend, you know, hundreds of extra dollars on getting a name brand when you can get something that really will protect your, your head. And if you're in the market for a good helmet, um, I would definitely uh, recommend Torque. Uh, you don't have to get this model. I just got this model because I like the, the look and the finish of it. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Uh, I'm gonna start riding with this tomorrow tomorrow or so and i'll let you guys know how it holds up but for now i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't i'll catch you guys next time